Hello everyone, this is my week thir uh, 36 recap. And, um, you know, again, didn't uh, have a whole lot of contact. I think it's part, part of the reason why I haven't had a whole lot of contact is just because um, I haven't had any big uh, questions that I needed to answer at this time. Um, I um, did uh, have one day where in my meditation I was in this... Uh, I had this visualization that I was in this classroom and I was very conscious of some of the things that were being said and uh, it was um, it, you know I even wrote it down I said it was some things about um, like the evolution of consciousness and they were discussing uh, like the state of no time which uh, at times uh, has has somewhat confused me um, you know I guess because we are stuck in linear time and um, you know it's it's you know anyway that that whole state of non time uh, of no time uh, is just very confusing so so I uh, you know, I guess I was just being taught some of that stuff. I just still don't really grasp a lot of it. But um, uh, but as the week progressed, uh, it seemed like I, I got more and more information that was extremely helpful uh, to me. Um, some of it I got like, you know, again, uh, sometimes I get it in the morning. It's almost like it's got to soak in over time. And as I was jogging, I got more and uh, it seemed like I got like this realization that thinking is being and acting solidifies it. Uh, and, and I think that's because I was um, assuming that in order to manifest uh, anything, uh, it, it, is, it requires a lot of thought. Um, and uh, you know, kind of, you have to, in order to be something, you have to kind of continually reinforce that thought and to make it a dominant thought. And it's a very resistant way of thinking about, you know, of looking at manifesting, I guess, because then you're you're trying to make something happen, and you can't. Just the very fact of trying is resistant. You just have to be it, you know, or you just have to allow it. An example uh, that I use is, um, and of course, uh, my wife and, and I were having another baby. And when I told uh, some of the people at my work, they uh, they had said, oh, that's great. Were, were you trying? And um, I didn't even know how to really answer that because it wasn't that we were actually trying it's just we were allowing it to happen and, and it's kind of the same thing it was saying that uh, you know just to think about something you're being it you're being at that moment you are it and that's all that is required uh, and as long as you're not reinforcing it you know something uh, against it then then that is the new you and you're, you're instantly that new you and then all you have to do is act it and this was very natural for us uh, as children uh, you know if you were told you know uh, you're a you're a chicken you would just immediately act like a chicken and be a chicken you would just be the chicken and there was no counter thought to saying, well, am I doing this right? Well, am I doing this? You know, what, what you know, how do they really move around? You, you just did acted it out uh, with um, full excitement, um, total belief that you were doing it correctly, exactly how you were supposed to do it. And um, that's kind of how I was given it that. Uh, uh, you just need to um, act it and be it. And my th focus has always been on, and it probably because I'm in the health uh, care field, has always been um, health related. 
you know, how do you recover from like, uh, you know, certain illnesses, you know, and I know that it is, you know, 100% possible for anything to be healed. I know this because I, I've seen um, many cases of it happening. Those synchronistic events have shown me that, you know, yes, it's, it's entirely possible. And uh, people don't seem to understand why that happens. It's kind of that anomaly, uh, you know, again, in the medical profession. Because, of course, the Western medical profession is correct. And <laughs> but uh, the things that aren't don't really fit in what they believe is correct, uh, they're just immediately dismissed. Instead of saying, well, maybe we don't have it exactly correct, you know, maybe we don't know everything, you know. And uh, so it's a very arrogant way of, of looking at, uh, at uh, health. And um, instead of more childlike, like there's still more to learn. And so the way I was taught was, you know, <sighs> for example, if you have uh, some sort of illness or, or anything, you, you need to, of course, remove any negative um, beliefs that are inhibiting you but then in order to kind of make that next little step um, you just have to think it and then act like it and then just continue to act like it and if you're not uh, if you're not acting like it like you're completely well or you know then there's got to be some other belief that's stopping you from fully expressing um, that person that you were thinking about because uh, if you were if you're thinking about perfect health, uh, then you have that person within you. You have that uh, um, personality uh, within you, and so there's something that's blocking you from expressing that personality, and so. Uh, so basically, you can you know you it, you know go through your day and just continue to act like it and and uh, and that's all that's really required is just to go through your day doing that and um, that's kind of how I was I was given it and once I was given it it was given to me it it, it just made entire a, a lot of sense in a broad uh, spectrum of, of how reality works that we are all really identifying ourselves to be a certain thing. Um, we are not that. We are not uh, any of that. We are really that consciousness that really is um, not really identified with any of, of the things that uh, the little beliefs um, that we identify with. You know, we say, uh, you know, my name is this and, you know, and I act a certain way, and I, you know, have this fear of this, and, you know, and you're constantly shaping your identity, uh, and then your reality is matched by that, by the beliefs that you have. And once you realize that you're really not any of that stuff, and you can pick and choose how you want to be, and how you want to act. And um, so as you change the way you act, you are being that other person. So you have a preference. You have a preference to, to act the way you want to act. And as you act the way you want to act, you are being that. So you can be, you know, in pain, but act completely well. And eventually it has to, your, your, your body will have to change. It will have to... Uh, shape into the being that you are acting because you're playing that role now. You're playing the role of perfect health. Um, and maybe it doesn't doesn't all make sense, you know. And maybe I didn't <laughs> express it, you know, as well as I could. But that's about the best way I can describe it. It was just kind of we're playing roles uh, in this life, and the roles that we play are the are the roles that shape our lives and they can be changed at any time at any time in, in our life you can just wake up in the morning and say I'm going to be this person and then just be that person 
and uh, shape your, your life in a totally different way. It's however you prefer. And um, I guess I'll just cut it off right here. It's a, actually a, a lot longer of an explanation than I thought I was going to be saying. I actually, when I started this video, I was like, boy, I really don't have anything much to discuss. I don't know what I'm going to say. And sometimes I start these videos and then all of a sudden I'll just, you know, something comes out of me and I, I guess I'm expressing it exactly how I'm supposed to express whatever I'm supposed to express this week. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, it for this week. And uh, um, again, I'll, I'll just talk with everyone next week. Um, again, thank, thank you everyone for, uh, for watching and uh, take care.